Hi, Mark Pesci here, author of Augmented Reality, Unboxing Tech's Next Big Thing. Last week, I took a walk down George Street in Sydney. That's pretty much the main drag. And I took a look at all of the plaques that people had placed on buildings. Now, why do we put a plaque on a building? Well, it's because we want to commemorate some feature of the building, some history of the building that wouldn't be revealed by the presence of the building itself. It's metadata, extraneous data, data that is not part of the fabric of the building. But we put plaques up so that we can locate that metadata in space. And we do it for all sorts of reasons, including indicating when the building was built, when it was dedicated, who did it, why, something famous that happened there. This metadata is a feature of all space. But until augmented reality, we had no way to place metadata in space. The basic operation of augmented reality is the ability to place arbitrary metadata anywhere we want at any location in space. And then by using some sort of augmented reality display, actually being able to view and interact with that sort of information. So you might imagine being able to go to the Argyle stores at the Rocks in Sydney, a very old famous building. And actually when you're there, being able to see the information that's already available on Wikipedia, but isn't available just by looking at the building. So we have this idea of being able to marry the real world, the physical world, the locative world, with the human world of information, doing it seamlessly and doing it in a way that provides a certain depth of understanding for all of us. That and much more is covered in my book, Augmented Reality, Unboxing Tech's Next Big Thing.